Hey guys, how's it going? So I've got a fairly interesting knife for you today. Uh, it's a Spyderco Domino. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Domino, it's been out for, I don't know, a year and a half, maybe two years, I don't think so, but uh, fairly new knife. Uh, they also just came out with the Dice, which is the smaller version of the Domino. Uh, really good knife. Uh, it's on bearings. It's a carpenter steel blade. Uh, it's a flipper. Uh, it's a titanium frame lock, which also has a stainless steel lock insert in there, so you don't have to worry about the titanium wearing out. Uh, the main complaint about it is that it, the one side is a frame lock, the other side is a titanium liner with a scale. And the scale is a carbon fiber, kind of like a checkerboard version. I don't have it right here in front of me. Uh, it, to me, it's kind of hideous. You know, it's a... Um, looks like a laminated I don't think the carbon fiber goes the whole way through which is I mean kinda of standard for most production companies you know that's what you get um, which is good <laughs> at least for us that customize knives because um, then it gives a reason to uh, change it out so um, I set out on the task to make this one a liner delete if you don't know what a liner delete is uh, like I said, this knife comes with a titanium liner and then it has a uh, carbon fiber scale on top. So it's, the, it's two pieces on one side and the frame lock side is just one solid piece of titanium. So what you got to do is you take the liner out and the scale out and you make one whole piece for it. That may not sound like a big deal, but when you're riding on bearings and you have to um, do the bearing pockets, you know, exactly the right depth and everything, it, it can become quite a chore. Um, so I did it, and it turned out really well. And this customer wanted um, a pretty simple look, so it's I didn't do any over-exaggerated milling or anything. So let's show it off. So first thing, the action's great on it. The blade is just a acid stone wash with the wicked edge. Uh, I rounded and polished the spine, and I didn't polish to a real high sheen. Like a lot of people have been asking me lately for polish this, polish that. I'm not a polished person, okay? Um, obviously, I do the uh, edges polished with the Wicked Edge. This is just at, I think, maybe five or 600 grit, but it's not been buffed or anything, because if I do that, then I'll hit the edges of where the... Um, uh, the acid is and it would screw up the look of the the acid on because you'd hit it so uh just so you guys know you know i'm not a big polish person so don't expect like hand rubbing and all that kind of crap for me uh, that's not my style uh, it's not something i want to get into at least right now so here's the scale so it's a full titanium one piece now matches the back side the edges I've kind of, um, you could say polished, but it's not really all that polished. It's a shinier edges bronze with a uh, darker matte stone wash on the flat surfaces. And then uh, I did the same acid stone washing on the pocket clip, and the customer asked for me to put my logo on there. Now, I'm not one to go off and put my logo on every knife that I've customized because... I just customized it. I didn't actually build the whole knife. So it's not something that I want to create as a standard, me putting my logo. If somebody requests it, I'll do it. Um, but I'm kind of saving my logo for things that I actually build from scratch. So I don't want to, you know, no offense to Spyderco or anything. Uh, but it was on customer request. So lockup's good. There's that um, steel liner. Nice and centered. This thing's not focusing very well. The action's great. Great action. I love it. Turned out really good. So, uh, and this mod is not a cheap mod. You know, some guys ask me, hey, how much that costs? You know, is that like $45? Uh, no. <laughs> It's not cheap. Um, titanium's not cheap. 
I have to special order, you know, all of the end mills and everything that I need to make this. It's a very tedious process to get everything. I probably had to take this knife apart 30 times. So, um, cause you go a little bit and you go a little further and you go a little further when you're doing stuff. So, uh, it's a very tedious process. Uh, if you guys are interested, my books are still open. Uh, I do have a huge backlog. I'm like four to six months out. So if you guys are wondering how long my lead times are, you're looking at four to six months. Uh, <clears throat> I also got planned in there trying to make my own knives. And, uh, you know, at one point or another, I did a video where I said I'm going to stop taking pimp or modifying jobs. And I just can't do that, especially with Christmas. Uh, when I did that, all my orders went down and this is the only way that I can make money right now so um, I still got bills to pay uh, you know I want my um, uh, my girlfriend and her two wonderful kids to have a great Christmas so I still need to still need to take uh, modifying orders so my books are still open just be aware of the lead time and then also um, my plan is um, I've got a big batch of mini southards I have a batch of Quakens that I got to do before Christmas, and then I'm going to go back and do. There's some other um, oddballs, ET pair of twos that need to get out of here. Guys that have been waiting a long time, and once I get caught up to the point where um, uh, I'm under my lead times of where you know, if I said six months and the job's not due till uh, February or whatever. Um, then I'm going to start working on some of my own knives. I'm, I'm hoping to do like a batch of 20 of my own knives and then I'll go right back to um, the modifying jobs and I'll do like a batch of 20 and then I'll do a batch of 20 of my knives. That's kind of the plan I guess at this point until I get to the point where it's no longer um, makes sense for me to do modifying anymore. Um, that, and that might be, I might keep doing that all next year. I, I don't know. Uh, we'll just see where where things go. So uh, I know I said I was going to close the books, but they're not. So if you want to place an order, shoot me an email. The email is listed down below in the description area. And um, if I don't hear from you before Thanksgiving, have a have a great Thanksgiving, guys. Um, and yeah, and I still have uh, like brew keys and all that kind of stuff up for sale. If you want a bottle opener or a stocking stuffer, check out my previous video. Uh, all that stuff. All that goes directly towards helping to pay for Christmas presents for for my girls. So um, it's greatly appreciated. Like seriously, you have no idea. So if you can spare 35, 40 bucks for a for a dog for a dog tag or 65, 55 for a brew key or whatever, um, it's not just going towards more crap. It's going towards kids' Christmas. So anyhow, thanks guys. Um, talk to you later. Hope you like the knife. I know I did. Uh, turned out excellent. Excellent. Love it. Alright, later guys.